Hi friends, I have shared germination tips for different seeds across several of my videos. Now I am consolidating all that information into a single wiki for convenient reference. Also, I won't bore you by repeatedly reiterating the same information. Let's kick off the list with a spinach. I never had more than 10% success rate when I started seeds directly in aerogodin or any other hydroponic systems. But I always had at least 90% success rate starting the seeds using wet paper towel method. It is very simple and straightforward process. Just place a few seeds on a paper towel, fold it, wet it, place it in a Ziploc bag and keep the Ziploc bag in a dark and warm place. I just recommend you to start with lots of seeds as backup. So no matter what spinach variety I am growing, I always go with wet paper towel method. There are some non-traditional spinach varieties such as perpetual spinach, Egyptian spinach, etc. and they can be started straight in the aerogodin or any hydroponic system. But the traditional spinach is not. We must use wet paper towel for 100% success rate. Then cilantro. I have so much mixed results germinating cilantro seeds straight in the hydroponic systems. I tried growing cilantro directly in aerogodin so many times and the success rate has been less than 50%. However, I tried the same in other hydroponic systems such as I do and a hope garden and it was very successful. So if I ever wanted to grow cilantro in aerogodin, I always go with wet paper towel method. It is pretty much the same process as spinach seeds. But one additional thing I highly recommend with cilantro seeds is splitting them. Cilantro seeds have a very hard shell and the whole seed contains two seeds inside. Splitting the seeds will help with a faster and a more successful germination. It is very easy process. Just gently press the seed and roll it sideways. This whole process looks complex, but trust me, it is very easy once you get into it. Moreover, we spend just 5 minutes going through this process, but once we are done with this process, we enjoy harvesting cilantro for more than 100 days. Then beans and peas. Both beans and peas do not like continuous wet environment during germination. The seeds get spoiled so quick before they even get a chance to germinate. They need a little bit of moisture to kick up the germination. So I always germinate beans and peas using wet paper towel method and transplant them to hydroponics. Even better, we can start them in seed starting tray using cocoa coir or potting mix and transplant the seedlings to whatever the hydroponic systems we want to use. This applies to almost all the bean and pea varieties. You can always give beans and peas a try by placing them directly in Aero Garden, but if you want to save some time and if you want to get consistent and reliable results, always go with wet paper towel method. I have grown so many varieties of beans and peas so far and I consistently failed by placing the seeds directly in hydroponic systems, but I consistently succeeded by starting them in wet paper towel method or starting them using the seed starting tray. Then watermelon and zucchini. I have mixed results with these seeds. Some varieties of these seeds just worked straight in Aero Garden, but some varieties struggled so much. So if you want to start these seeds directly in Aero Garden, start with multiple pods for backup, assuming at least one of them will work out. Or just go with the wet paper towel method and pick the seedlings that looks healthy and reliable. 
Next, nasturtiums. This is probably uncommon for indoor gardening, but I like these plants. Nasturtium is actually known as a flowering plant. However, the leaves are edible. I really like the taste and flavor of the leaves and I like to add them to my salads for a nice peppery flavor. Coming to germination, I have had zero success rate starting them straight in the hydroponics. But when I start the seeds using wet paper towel method, I saw seedlings just within two days and the survival rate of the sprouted seeds is more than 99%. With that, I think I covered most of the common but difficult to germinate seeds. All other seeds such as lettuce, basil, mustard, broccoli, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, eggplants, and almost all the flowers can be started straight in the hydroponics. However, if you see any difficulty germinating any seeds, just try the wet paper towel method. We never go wrong. Alright, that is the quick summary on germinating seeds for hydroponics. Hope these tips are helpful. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.